What's up, y'all? As you can see, I'm still out here hanging out at the range on this cold, cloudy day. The sun peaked out a little bit just a few minutes ago, but it's done decided to go back in. I think it's gone for the day because the temperature's dropping, but I think I can deal with it long enough to get done what should be a pretty interesting 38 Special Plus P test. So the jelly contraption's ready to go with the chrono and two blocks of gel. Now this far block, I've done a couple of tests in it. I'll leave some links up above if you hadn't seen that. And unfortunately, a couple of them snuck down here. That was definitely not part of the plan, but we should have plenty of room left in this one right here to get these 38 special rounds in and of course again like i always like to mention we're using the heavy clothing barrier with a layer of denim layer of fleece and two layers of a cotton t-shirt material but like i said what we got here is a couple of 38 special plus p rounds both of them loaded by underwood the first one we got here is their 125 grain bonded jacketed hollow point now this is actually a gold dot projectile and unfortunately i didn't even realize this until here recently apparently underwood wood is no longer loading the gold dots so if y'all see the bonded jacketed hollow point out there that are the gold dots you might want to grab them if you're interested in them at all and then what we're going to put up against it is pretty much the opposite end of the spectrum here we got the 158 grain high tech coated hard cast keith type it's a 1250 feet per second same as the velocity on this gold dot saying 1250 feet per second although like i said this one's 158 this one's 125 as you can see here just the, the hard cast got their coating on it a both of them nickel plated rounds so both of these rounds should be pretty nice i'm hoping and we're just going to use a single barrel length on it today the two inch taurus 856 the real main purpose i had for this is to try to find something that runs good out of this little two inch i've, I've run a couple of them that's did okay some of them's did terrible so i'm hoping to find a couple more rounds that do really good out of the little two inch revolver but hopefully both of these rounds will perform well and we'll have two more options for a little two inch revolver well, let me get this stuff set up and let's check them out all right, y'all, as you can see, the sun done made a liar out of me and poked out from behind the clouds, but we can deal with that. Let's get some speeds on these things. I'm gonna do a five round average from each one. I'm gonna start out with these 125 grain gold dots first. Uh, remember, both of the boxes are saying 1,250 feet per second. I definitely don't expect to see that out of this two inch. Um, hopefully we see at least a little over a thousand. I would like to see over a thousand at least. I mean, plus P, I mean, that's not too much to ask for, but let's see what we get here, y'all. All right, we got 1,031. 1,016, it looks like. 1,036. 1,010. And 1,013, so not too bad. At least we did over 1,000. Let's go check that out. All right, so our five round average from those 125 gold dots was 1,021 feet per second. So not too terrible out of a two inch revolver, I don't think. Hopefully that'll be plenty to get some good performance in the gel. Let me get this reset and let's check out them hard cast. All right, let's check out these heavy boys, y'all. These are saying 1250 on the box as well. I don't think these are gonna be moving as fast as those out of the snubby, but I could be surprised. Let's get us a five round average on them. All right, we got 1146. <laughs> I was totally wrong. They're moving faster. These things have got some juice to them. Uh, let's, let's get the rest of them here. All right, 1110. I will say these has got right much recoil than them other ones now. That's a fact. It ain't nothing terrible, but you can tell it's got a lot more recoil. All uh, right, 1125. Uh, 1093. 1097 so like i said these things right here is packing a punch buddy let me tell you let's go check that average all right so our five round average on those hard casts was 1114 feet per second that's a 158 grain projectile from this little two inch revolver that's not bad at all um if y'all remember on them gold dots it was 1021 so you're talking about 93 feet per second faster from the heavier 158 grain projectile um 93 feet what that's almost 10 percent so i'd 
say that's probably a significant difference there. Um, I still expect to see pretty good stuff from both of them in the jail. So let me get this reset and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's short boy jelly time. I'm gonna put one of each round into the jail. We're gonna start with these 125 grain gold dots first, just because I know that, or I feel confident that these are gonna stop in at least one of these blocks of jail. Uh, those hard casts, I got a feeling I'm gonna have to put some stuff behind them. So let's check out this gold dot first. Let's see what it does, y'all. I can say, I think this is gonna do pretty good. All right, I think that should have been a good hit. I can't see exactly where I went. Let's go down there and check that out. All right, y'all, that gold dot down there is looking pretty much perfect from what I can see so far. So let's try this hard cast. I've got a board and a couple towels and a block behind the board because I got a feeling this thing's going the distance on us. I don't think it's going to stop in 32 inches. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if it goes through the board and hits the block, but maybe I'm giving, I might be giving a little too much credit. I don't know, but I can tell it's got some juice behind it. Um, let's see what I can do. I'm going to put it over to the right, hopefully. All right, that definitely was a good hit. Let me go down there and see what happened. All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. First thing I can tell you right now is those hard cast Keith type rounds are absolute monsters. That thing cleared both blocks of jail, went through a, a folded up towel and this piece of plywood and stopped in the cinder block down there. But I'll show y'all that in a second here, but that's the one in the top back there in the back. As you can see, it comes in. Nice disruption actually just to be a hard cast, a semi wad cutter type round. Nice disruption in the jail. But as you can see, I mean, it's trucking on, buddy. It hits the second block keeps on flying like I say completely out the other end I'll pick y'all up and show y'all the track here in a second now this gold dot on the other hand down here in the bottom in the front fantastic performance out of it as you can see it comes in here immediately opens up really nice disruption there in wound channel now it's behind this little scratch of a little mark that I made from some other test but um, everything you see is the gold dot disruption this isn't covering up any of it so into the block here keeps on trucking looks like it stopped about an inch shy of the end and then rebounded back maybe about an inch and looks like it's got some really nice expansion on it also so as far as the penetration like i said the uh, hard cast keith went through 32 inches and a piece of plywood and stopped in a cinder block so there's no telling how much it would have got uh the gold dot stopped at exactly 15 and a quarter inches and rebounded back to 14 and a quarter. So very, very nice penetration. I mean, this is like picture perfect out of this gold dot. So here we are with your overhead view. There's the gold dot. Like I say, that was that scratch on the front of the block that was kind of blocking your view a little bit. But as you can see, fantastic disruption when it comes in here, goes on through the block here, keeps on trucking. And there you see it turned kind of about 90 degrees or so, I would say. And you see the forward momentum them and then you get that little bit of rebound but looks like some really nice expansion on that thing too and then back around to this other angle again here's that hard cast keith type as you can see nice disruption there up until about this point and then it kind of fizzles out and just turns into a straight line and then coming back around to the other side i'll show you the track again there it is and it's up above those other ones you can probably see it just a really thin line keeps on trucking there it is right there out the end there's the hole that it made in the plywood after it went through this towel that was folded up into about four layers. Went through that towel, went through the board right there, and then stopped right there. You can see that little chunk right there that it took out of the block. So it just did catch it with that block stopping it. There's the exit from the board where it came out. All right, let's check out these projectiles, y'all. Definitely a tail of two different rounds right here, buddy. This one right here is the gold dot, obviously. Very, very nice expansion on this thing. I love these bonded rounds. If it takes the jacket with it, you're pretty much guaranteed it's gonna bring some lead out with it. So as you can see, just fantastic expansion on this thing. Really, really nice expansion. That's very impressive, especially through cloth. And then on the flip side, here's our hard cast right here. I mean, hardly any deformation on this thing, even after going 
going through all of this stuff, the board hitting the block and everything, it just kind of scratched it up a little bit, even from the cinder block. So that thing right there was rolling on, buddy. Well, let's get us a few measurements on them and see what we got. So as far as the weight, this one here started at 158. It is exactly 158.1. So probably a little bit heavier than 158 to start with because it looks like it scratched a little bit off or just could have rearranged it a little bit. Either way, it's got all of the mass it started with. And then the gold dot here started at 125 and it's at 124.2. And I can definitely see some specks of what looks like lead or something in the wound track, something other than cloth. Now, as far as the measurements on them, obviously this hard cast didn't have any expansion, but we'll get some measurements anyway. So we got a base diameter there of about three five six which makes sense it's got some little scratches and some gouges on it and then the length on it we got seven one five so you're definitely moving a nice little chunk of lead down range at some pretty decent speeds out of a snubby and now our gold dot's got this really nice expansion on it you got five nine nine five nine two five nine three so really really nice expansion on that 38 gold dot and there you have it y'all the 38 special plus p bonded hollow point versus the keith type hard cast definitely two different types of performances here for two different situations as far as finding some more good rounds for the snubby i believe we did just for different purposes this gold dot right here this is a fantastic defensive round in my opinion the hard cast on the other hand in my opinion it's just a little bit too much for two-legged threats but this would be a really nice woods walking type of thing for four-legged threats or, or protection from any kind of wild animals and stuff like that but overall from being sent down a little two inch barrel i think both of these rounds performed very nice nicely all right y'all that's a wrap for this 38 special test and the end to another interesting day of testing i have to say i get surprised by these tests a lot of times but this right here went pretty much exactly how i expected i figured that gold dot was going to do really really nice and it did it went in there very nice disruption almost perfect penetration very very nice expansion those gold dots are just really really nice rounds the bonding on those things is just what puts them over the top for me like i said you get some rounds that you'll get the jacket to peel back and expand but then the lead don't come with it because it's not bonded with these things if that jacket starts peeling back you're almost guaranteed that you're going to get some nice lead expansion now those hard casts on the other hand like i said i think that's just a little bit too much for two-legged stuff but if you're out doing a woods walk or something like that it'd be perfect for some kind of wild animal protection or something like that and speaking of those hard casts i don't know if i mentioned at the beginning but that was actually some of the ammo that was sent to me by bill quite a while ago in a big batch of stuff he sent me and i'm just getting around to testing them so again i want to thank you big time bill for sending those brother i really appreciate you but if y'all did enjoy this video take a second and hit that thumbs up button make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that bell notification icon so you can get notified when i upload new stuff take a second to check out those affiliate links in the video description you know the deal with that amazon if you shop through there anyway hit up that storefront link first it takes you straight through amazon just like normal from there and anything you buy after that i get a kickback from them towards the channel again same with the axle links if you're in the market for some fantastic ear pro check out those axle links and you can save a lot of money instead of going straight to their site like i tell you every single time i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel like y'all do it's getting cold out here the sun's pretty much disappeared for good for now so i'm gonna pack all this stuff up and head out of here i got a bunch of good stuff coming y'all's way so be on the lookout for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see y'all soon